break up filthy. <laughs>so yeah, that's basically where I've been the past 3 months. How did I escape? Don't worry about it. While I was gone, I noticed a few problematic creators popping up on my radar. These are creators on the Roblox platform that cater to a very young audience to manipulate their little bean sized brains for likes, subs, and money. Now before I get into the topic, it is very important that you guys first know what I personally think about them. You get the idea. First up on the list, we have a Roblox YouTuber named Clown Zhao, or how I like to call him, Clown. Clown Zhao was like the spam king of Roblox shorts. He would say things such as like and subscribe if you love Jesus, which obviously is a tactic some degenerate YouTubers use to manipulate kids into liking and subscribing, or else they will face consequences for not doing so. He was also called out for pushing Robux scam links to his audience. Similarly to Yu Woo Cute Single which I mentioned in this video. Oh. And remember when he made a video about Roblox players who died? While still asking viewers to like and subscribe, classy move. Clown Zhao, real classy. And let's not forget his frequent use of religion for likes and subs. This TikTok made by the user named Crappiest pretty much sums it up. I hate God, he's so ugly. Don't say that God is amazing. So that video says subscribe, or else you don't support God. Which is already messed up, but also, you've done this over 7 times. Also in each video they have a fake free Robux link in every video. It seems how hungry you are for money. I mean your Roblox group name is legit clown shires old money. So you are legit calling your fans money. Also isn't this legit your voice? Oh yeah, and by the way, spoiler alert, God doesn't give a shit if you like a post on YouTube shorts. Isn't that right God? Facts. No printer. And if you thought it couldn't get worse, he of course got exposed for using racist slurs. What a shocker. Most recently, he was called out for using another YouTuber, who we will talk about next, for views by claiming that they are their sister and that this YouTuber died. He played it off as an April Fool's joke but this video was posted two days after April Fool's, so it's safe to say this was simply a sad attempt to get views from kids who legitimately thought that one of their beloved YouTubers has died recently. Thankfully, as of September 21st, Clown Zhao was terminated from YouTube and won't be missed. Here is what Kakav420 has to say. Calm down, let's dial it back a little bit. Now, let's move on to Rebooted Poppy, who had her own share of controversies. Rebooted Poppy was a pro at using religion and animal abuse, for that sweet, sweet clout. Using the same tactics as Clown Jow to gather views and likes from kids who thought that if they don't like their video, their dog will die or they don't believe in God, and just like Clown Jow. Poppy also made a video about how their beloved sister and YouTuber Clown died. Yes you heard right, they both made videos on each other claiming that they were sisters and that they both died. Somehow. Look bro I never claimed they were smart alright? Anyways, Poppy also got under fire recently when they copyright striked Kaka V420 for making a video on them. This caused his video to be taken down and put a strike on his channel, which if you don't know, 3 strikes and you're banned from YouTube. Thankfully YouTube has more than 2 brain cells and retracted this falsely given strike. Here you go YouTube, you deserve this. Oh and before I forget to mention, both Clown and Poppy are boys, not girls. They legit acted as girls on YouTube to get more views, how weird is that? I'm sorry for the interruption but we just got news. Apparently during the time of editing this video, rebooted Poppy was actually terminated from YouTube, but got her account back only a day later. Guess you didn't deserve your star after all. Lastly on my list of Roblox degenerates, we have the queen herself, Yuwoon Cute Single, the Roblox troll who has made headlines for the past year with her outrageous shorts and trolling on the platform. She used to be like any other cringe Roblox shorts creator, until one day she decided to promote a Roblox gambling site. This site gave her money to copy and paste their website link in her shorts.
causing thousands of kids to click on it, and probably get scammed. This of course got the attention of many YouTubers, including me and Kaka. Once the situation calmed down, she stopped doing these type of sponsors, but that doesn't erase the damage she has already done. A few days later, she uploaded an apology video about this, however it was simply bait and she mocked everyone who was hating on her, claiming she will be the next Lisa Gaming. Just like the previous YouTubers I talked about, she also used religion, animal abuse, and other topics to gather pity likes and subscribers from her audience. This caused a lot of drama in the community and even Creekcraft started to make videos on her, which only boosted her presence on this platform. However all this attention came with a price. On August 8, 2023, Yuwoo Cute single was hacked by Pack God and Stick. Stake later made a live stream giving away Yuwoo Cute single's account password. But he failed after she got their account back just in time. Which obviously means that this was all planned and scripted by Stake and Yu Wu. Which I mean, that's not the nicest thing to do but, I guess it was entertaining. Fast forward to today, Yu Wu cute single is still around, but has turned a new leaf and became a respectable Roblox YouTuber. Just kidding, that fucking dumbass uploaded a 9-11 joke on that very day. Comedy Gold, Freakcraft reacted to that clip which went viral, and she got scared she might get terminated off of YouTube, so she deleted her channel to avoid getting banned. However, two days later, the channel was restored and many of her videos were set to private. As if they never existed, she then made a clickbait video pretending that she was banned, when in reality she simply deleted her channel. Now despite all of this, I do want to clarify that Yu Wu Cute Single is between the ages of 16 and 17 years old. She is simply a dumb teenager who sometimes made very, very dumb mistakes. Roblox YouTuber Ruina made a tweet discussing this very topic. Whether you agree or not is completely up to you. However there are obviously consequences to making stupid decisions. So, what's the moral of this story you ask? Well. Let's hope these creators change their ways or disappear from Roblox and YouTube for good. Preying on children for likes and money is never a good look. Unless I do it. <laughs>